with Becky Inga Britson, a fitness trainer and busy mom. And it's important for moms to find time to work out, but it's so challenging. How do you do it? <laughs> I juggle. I juggle a lot. Um, and I know, I definitely know how it is to be busy, yeah. um, to work out and to have children all at the same time. I really never knew how busy it was to be able to get time in for yourself until I had kids myself. Like you, me. you found a way to work out with the kids and we mean literally work, use them as part of your workout right. and you're going to show us some yes. ways to do that. So the best way that, I mean Ivy is seven months old so yes. she can hold her head up really well. She's got a really strong neck. Uh, so it's just holding her and it's just using her as body weight while okay. I'm doing stuff. And so what we do is I hold her right under her armpits and then we reverse lunge and then she goes right onto my thigh and then we bounce and hold it for a little while and then we come back up and then we switch. Oh, yeah. So the next one we do for the abdominals and either you can keep your feet up off the ground or you can keep your heels down and then we're just bringing her side to side and up and over and up and over and just trying to hold this boat pose and then just making sure that you're on you're onto the muscle of your butt. So the last exercise we're going to do is for the core again. It's helpful if you make either faces or noises while they're doing it so they entertain down here. So you're gonna bring them onto their back and then we go onto our forearms to hold a plank and then we tap off to the side and then tap in the toes off to the side. Show us what's fun to do with someone Iris's age. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is again for your core and upper body as well and then also stretches out your hamstring. So we're gonna stand apart and then we're gonna bring our arms up and we forward fold and keep our legs as straight as possible. And then we bring our butt down to plank and then we clap the hands, walk our hands back up and then we do the same thing. So it stretches out the hamstrings and the back of the legs, works that core and we give high five to my little buddy. So the next one, we incorporate a little bit more cardio in. So if I was doing it first, I could either step back into a plank and step back up and then jump up and then I high five my partner again and I'll make it hard for her. And then I can either do that walk back or jump up, jump up, high five my buddy. So the next one, again, it's core. I would start on, out into my plank and then I gotta make myself a little bit smaller. So I go down to my forearms and Iris is gonna hop over me. And then I push back up, use my upper body strength to push up back to a straight arm plank. And then I'm gonna be safely step over her, go down to plank, and then I'm gonna go down to forearms first before she hops. So many busy moms complain that they don't have time to work out. And this is a good way to work it into your day in little increments. Right, exactly. I'm a busy mom, I totally get it. Um, but that's why we wanted to share some of these exercises with you because I get the busy mom but then wanting some fast, effective workouts right. too. And then how do you feel when you're done, Iris? Do you feel good? Yeah, it's fun to work out with your mom, I bet, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Yeah, thank you. And you can always check out MomsEveryday.com for more.